Hi, I'm Nurse Deborah with Premom, and today I'm going to talk about late and missed periods and why they happen. Before I get started, though, don't forget to subscribe to the Premom channel so that you can keep getting helpful updates on your journey to conceive. And also feel free to drop your comments and questions below. Okay, so why is it that your period can be late or you can skip a period altogether? What are some of the reasons other than pregnancy why this happens? This is a question we get all the time because unfortunately it is pretty common and it can be worrisome if you're trying to conceive because as we know, a regular menstrual cycle is a good indication of the overall health of our body and also the status of our fertility. So I'm going to go over eight of the more common reasons. Reason number one, chronic stress. This is a big one. Unfortunately, so many of us in today's world are under a lot of stress for various reasons. And stress day in and day out can really affect almost every system in our body, including the female reproductive system and the hormones that control when we ovulate and when we get a period. Reason number two something called polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS. This is a hormonal imbalance where you'll have lots of different um, cysts in your ovaries usually. An array of different symptoms are possible like weight gain, facial hair, acne, trouble regulating your blood sugar. If you think you may have PCOS, this is something you'll definitely want to talk to your doctor about, get some testing done, especially if you're trying to conceive, it can affect your fertility. So it's something you want to get treated um, and know about. Reason number three, thyroid disorders. Unfortunately, thyroid conditions are on the rise and are fairly common. Uh, the most common is something called hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's disease. So the thyroid gland sits right here on the base of your neck, and it's most known for controlling your metabolism, but actually the thyroid hormones do many, many different things. Um, and they are intimately connected with other hormones in our body, like the female reproductive hormones. So an imbalance in your thyroid hormones can lead to an imbalance in your female hormones and vice versa. Um, late and missed periods are pretty common with thyroid disorders. Reason number four are certain medications. Of course, birth control is the most obvious type of medication that can change our menstrual cycles. Usually when you're coming on a hormone birth control at first for several months, your periods can be all over the place. Um, with certain types of birth control, you may not have a period at all for months at a time. Um, even when you're coming off of a birth control, as your body kind of re-regulates itself, you can have weight and missed periods as well. Other medications that can affect your period include antidepressants, especially when you first start taking them, chemotherapy, blood thinners, and then even NSAIDs, uh, which include things like Advil and Aleve. Those, if you take them on a regular daily basis for a while, can also lead to weight or missed periods. Um, reason number five, either being extremely underweight or extremely overweight, either of those, um, ends of the spectrum in terms of your weight can lead to imbalances in your female hormones and late in this period. Reason number six, breastfeeding. So usually when a mom breastfeeds after having a baby, um, their period will come back anywhere between like four to 12 months. And even when um, your menstrual cycle has regulated and is, you know, you've had several periods in a row that are regular, you can all of a sudden have a, a very late or missed period if your baby increases the amount of breastfeeding um, they're doing because maybe they're teething or going for a growth spurt. Reason number seven extremely vigorous exercise. So I'm not talking about like going to the gym every day, working out for 30 minutes or an hour. I'm talking about someone who's training for a marathon and running a lot every single day or um, getting ready for a big athletic event, something like that, that kind of level of vigorous exercise can actually make your period stop sometimes for months at a time. Reason number eight, 
are changes in your sleep and wake cycle. The most common reason why you might have drastic changes in when you're sleeping and when you're awake is travel, um, especially if you go somewhere with a very different time zone. Um, or if you take on a shift work kind of job where you're working odd hours, like overnight, and then you sleep during the day, uh, you can definitely have a late in this period, especially as you readjust to this totally new schedule. So those are the reasons that I uh, wanted to go over today. Again, I just wanted to emphasize before I finish that if you have a late or missed period, every once in a while, like once or twice a year, that's not something to be too worried about. However, if it's happening on a regular basis, or if you haven't had a period in longer than three months, you definitely want to let your doctor know. They'll run some tests, try to figure out what's going on. Okay, that's all for today. I really enjoyed talking to you and um, I look forward to seeing you next time.